everybody how you all doing and i'm here with a very special video a bit of a makeup and a make do for the fact that i missed uh, two weeks of uh, action sunday of course if you guys uh, follow the community post and uh, of course saw my video from 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 last week or so you know what's been going on but don't worry i'm gonna get back on track uh, momentarily but right now i want to give uh, a bet, special treat for everyone you now and that is this today's special television review and that is the review of national treasure edge of history over on disney plus now i'm gonna admit this right now is that um i've been on quite a kick lately and of course i just lo love seeing seeing um you know the whole national treasure stuff i'm really excited for it not to mention um i'm kind of excited i hope they do follow it and follow this and be like i hope we do get a third movie eventually i know it's in the hands of nicholas cage and jerry bruckheimer bruckheimer is definitely optimistic he wants it done but it's all up to Nicolas Cage if he's up for it. And I really do. I think feel like time is now. Cage okay, has been, what, 15-something odd, some odd years since since we've had a National Treasure movie. But I feel like feel like the show kind of bridges the gaps and kind of brings us up to speed. And also, as well, satisfies our thirst to see another adventure. Adventure with our favorite uh, uh, hunter, you know what I mean. But, but however, this show is, takes it in a completely different direction. Instead of following... Ben Gates, we, we, we follows a brand new story, a brand new set of characters, but um, there are a few characters and a whole lot of nods, nods if you have a good eye for it in this show. Like, I just, I was really happy and excited. I was like, ooh, now, I'm now I really want to see where this goes, goes because like from the moment that the that the that the opening sequence comes, you like when you hear Pierce Dusky's voice, I knew I was in. Just, I was go, we were going somewhere, and of course they explained the whole legend and the whole whole like lore of what treasure where we're we going with this now since we've done done you know a treasure map and back uh, back at the Declaration of Pence, the President's Secret Book. Where to now? Of course, I feel like this is kind of piggybacks off of something that happened in the second movie. So I really like where they went with this. And the fact that, A, again, introducing a new crop of talent, introducing a new age, you know, kind of showing like how far time has passed in between those movies, and also keep and also following something new, and that is Pierce Sadusky's uh, grandson. Now, I don't want to give much away, but yeah, yeah, it's more of that. And of course, this new girl named Je Jess, who's who apparently like, her parents are no longer with her because they, they're hunting the same treasure that Sadusky's talking about. And of course, we all see where this is go, going. It's like, okay, someone, someone's after the same thing. But yeah, I, I really like um, where they went with this. The whole treasure map situation, one cool movie to another. I really enjo enjoyed enjoyed where they were, they were taking this. I was like, okay, where are we going to go now since we've been to... Um, London, France, we've been, been across uh, most of the United States. But now, here's an interesting thing. We start in Baton Rouge, we go to Mexico, we go to San Antonio, there's, and, and even Graceland. I was like, wow, this is interesting of how, where they're going with this. I'm like, I'm like who would have thunk, thunk of this? And I really dug it. I really did. And, of course, I know... Couple people online, I've heard critics online pan this, like, saying, like, uh, like, um... I felt like that again going with the whole PC bullshit. I'm like, you know what? Forget the whole PC bullshit. But then again, there's a couple of things, a couple of characters that really stuck in my craw, and I just I don't want to talk about it, but it just stuck in my craw. I just didn't like them. It's like I've seen this archetype before, and I didn't. And, I, and quite frankly, like I really think they should have just changed things up a little bit. But at the same time, I think it would. Have, I think they kept with the way they did. I think it would have added an interesting wrinkle to each of these characters' backstories and an interesting way to the story. Um, and but my only gri another gripe about this is like I don't recognize anybody out of all the all this new cast. Obviously, it's a fairly young cast, but at least we got some we got Catherine Zeta Jones playing the villain. And of course, I felt like that was a pretty cool thing. Bring some life into, bring some star power to the show. I mean, you have her. I mean, it was great to see. Uh, Harvey Keitel as uh, Dusky, uh, a, a, maybe for a, for an episode. Seeing Justin Bartha reprise his role as Ravi Poole, even if it was just for an episode, was also was also a treat for me. And I love the whole twists and turns and the big shock reveal and at the end of episode nine, beginning of episode ten of who the real mastermind is behind everything. I love where they go with it. And this, and of course, essentially hits all the adventure cliches and invents some new stuff. Uh, but in terms of breaking ground, I think it did, did its job. But then again, it left the door open for, for season two. And I really want to see uh, where we go in season two. So we go from, from you know, 
ancient treasure map or these relics from of the Aztec Incan and uh, uh, and Mayan, Mayan went into a cache of Spanish gold somewhere in America to work. What, what now? Like, uh, I hope well, we get more on that in coming season two. Cause uh, I know Sidney, William Sadusky, Pierce Sadusky's, uh, grandson says, says there's more to this tale. Cause he, cause he heard it on a tape. And I'm like, please, again, again, they're doing it again. I'm like, I know they're doing a song suspense. What was on the tape? Tape, but I hope they do this justice. Kind of, kind of the way, like, I hope they don't, don't just keep us in suspense for oh, oh so long about what was on page 47 in the President's Secret book. But of course, again, you know, I keep going back to that. I know we all want to see that. When's it coming? When's it happen? Again, that project is in the hands of Nicolas Cage, but I want to see where we go from here in Edge of History. It's a great show. I really like it. Um, well, yeah, if you're expect, again, like, I really like, where they went with this, all the good stuff. It's all there. Uh, I love some of these characters. There's a couple of characters I do not like. But again, where are we going to go from here? I hope we do something amazing. I want to see where this uh, treasure hunting expedition goes next. All right. With that in mind, I'm going to give the first season of Edge of History, I'm going to give it... I'm gonna give it a, a a hard eight for now, okay? There's I was gonna rate a little higher, but again, there's a couple of things like I said I didn't particularly like. Like obviously hit some of the cliches, some of the stuff that I've already w w have seen before in adventure in adventure films before, adventure serials, but yet back in I've seen done in the National Treasure movies. Uh, but yeah, if you're expecting it to, to uh, like. Uh, be something completely different. Um, I don't know. But then again, I definitely recommend it. It's really, really, really good. I've been telling this to almost everybody. Even my own dad, who is a huge fan of the National Treasure movies. I told him, told me, if you don't have Disney Plus, please get it. Get get the show. Watch the get get it and watch the show. I think everyone will have a blast. All right. So that does it for today. What do you want to think? Thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for some more awesome and exciting content, everybody. All right. See you soon.